Hi, my loves, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is uh, Aquarius. This is from July 23rd to July 30th, 2019. So uh, as I was stating to all of you, uh, last night I did your video, and uh, when I came to post it, it disappeared in my in my photos, like, you know, where the video is supposed to be going. So, uh, because I, when I do record, I record with my phone. So, uh, anyways, and, um, it was a beautiful reading, but it was not in the right time. So whenever you see this reading will be the right time for you. I want to thank you all beautiful Aquarians for all your love and support for all the beautiful comments and for the new subscribers. Thank you for being on my channel and welcome, welcome. And uh, for those of you that are new to my channel, I am a uh, cha I channel messages through my uh, higher self and the divine. <clears throat> and I use the cards that I have here as a tool to give you the messages from the divine. Of course, for others of you, your angels, spirit guides. Okay, so um, again, thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the comments and sharing. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And share me with your family and friends. If you see some people that are not feeling well, you know, you could always show them my video. I'm on the collective to help people to overcome their blockages or just to help them through and see that um, that life is not as bad as it seems like, okay? Even though when we go through the most... Uh, worst times of our lives which uh, right now a lot of uh, people are going through a dark night of the soul and they don't realize that they're going through this uh, this type of situation until they start becoming aware because a lot of people are awakening to their true selves okay and so um, the messages that I do have for you from last night because they told me it was okay for me to use the same messages is I see some of you are going to be traveling this week. For others of you, there's a plan of relocating or moving. Your spiritual gifts will also be enhanced uh, this uh, this particular week and coming into the month of uh, August, which is in Leo. I see that a lot of you are working hard, okay? And there's also, I feel, for some of you, that there is a um, something karmically that's being released from you. This could be a pattern. This could be uh, a situation. Sometimes we get stuck in the same kind of predicaments, okay? And karma is there to release it. That's the south node in Capricorn that's doing this for everybody on the collective, okay? And as well, so, but you, you're not alone. This is what I'm trying to say. And at the same time, what they're showing me here is that karmically, there's situations and people that are supposed to be leaving a, your life. Uh, you could have new beginnings that are gonna be taking place. I, I also, uh, what they told me also was something about um, some of you are forming great friendships or some of you are meeting people that are so family, like we are to each other, like there is a bond that's deepening for some of you. Some of you, you are, I feel there's like someone that's courting you as well. A uh, very nice man or woman, a uh, very nice clean cut, I feel. And there's some, there's some there's strong friendships around you, what is they're showing me. And also there's someone around you that is very, um, what's the word, okay. Um, I don't know, how, okay, let me, um, someone that is really true to themselves and you will feel in your soul chakra in your soul chakra and in your of course your heart chakra that this person is really a, a good person whether it's a man or a woman i see that children are happy here if you do have children or grandchildren i see that they're very very happy i see a lot of sunshine and uh, around them and they're really like grounded okay if for those of you that are worried about your children or you don't see your children i see them doing well here as what they're showing me now um there's one thing because i don't want to forget there's two things actually that i want to say but i don't want to forget okay uh for some of you out there okay um that are a bit like thinking negative if you're thinking negative or you're stuck in this place where you are feeling negative or uh you're having like uh you're you're, you're over analyzing or overthinking something they're saying that uh that's you need to um try to take whatever happened to you and uh, turn it around into something positive, okay? Like transform it into something positive and empower yourself with it. Uh, to, you know, to make, to put the effort to go out there, you know, like meet new people or spirit or like-minded people like you as well. Maybe like even to go do your hair for some of you or buying a, buying a new shirt or something just to 
change um, and how you're feeling, okay? Uh, and also, I noticed there's a person around you now. This could be female or male. It doesn't matter. But I feel there's someone that is not... There's also someone around you that is uh, I feel is very suspicious. Like it could be a daughter for some of you, or it could be a, or a, a son, or it could be a friend, or someone an acquaintance. But I feel someone is like trying to figure you out. I don't know who that message is for. Now, I have my ringing bowl, my singing bowl. I keep saying it the wrong way. Anyways, you know what I mean, my singing bowl. The reason why I use this is to clear my energy, my space. At the same time, I will clear your energy and your space. I ask, I am also a master healer. So what I could do for you is like those of you that want to, I could send you some energy your way and healing. Those of you that want it, you need to accept it for you to receive it. If you don't want it, you just don't have to accept it and just listen to the singing bowl. At the same time, I will clear your chakras. I will align them and ground you to Mother uh, Gaia. And I will also clear your aura and clear your space where you are. So let's get started, okay? Oh, yes. Wait. The only thing that I want you to do at this time, when I, if you're home and relaxing, I want you to close your eyes, take a deep breath in, and take a deep breath out. And when you breathe out, breathe out through your solar plexus and let it go to Mother Gaia. Okay? So let's get started. There we are. Perfect. Everything's done. <clears throat> now I'm going to take my spray. Spray Archangel Michael, my crystals, my table with all my cards. And I'm going to spray you too. Some of you are going to smell this. And you're going to let me know in the comments what I have in my bottle. Okay? So, your challenge for this week is 31... Number four, which talks about stability, is door to value. Okay, so door to value here. Uh, I see this as uh, the divine coming in, stepping in, and opening the door slowly. And some of you are starting to feel the effects of there is something coming in for you. There's something coming in that's going to... Uh, it's like you knowing your worth of who you are. And also whoever this... If you're, it's a career or your own company or whatever it is, money will start coming in. Okay, so this is number 31. And then you got 
number 41. And this is your seventh chakra, which is your crown chakra, but it was reversed when I got it. So for me, this means a lot of you right now are being worked on from the divine, the angels, your spirit guides, your family of light, family of light, meaning star seed family. Some of you are getting worked on. Some of you are not seeing things clearly. But whatever the case, I'm going to put this upright for you so that you feel better and that you, whatever it is that you, your crown, whatever your, because I feel some of you, your crown is really being worked on very hard this week, okay? Uh, so I'll put it upright that it goes easier for you. And so it is. And I got 31, 41. So five changes are coming in and completions are taking place. What I also have here in front of me, I took out your crystal cards. So your crystal cards are here to, um, for you, you don't have to have all three, but if you have all three, it's great. If not, you use one of them. Okay. And what you could do with it is meditate with it, Put an intention on it and carry them with you during the day. So the first card is Malachite. Right? And this talks about prosperity. There's a positive shift in your flow of divine uh, support. So there's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. Malachite is also used for deep emotional healing as well. For some of you, you might need to use this. Okay? But it's best not to wear it all the time. If you do have a piece of jewelry... Let's say you wear it, okay? Do not wear it for a long period of time is what they're saying. Malachite. The next card you got is Lapis Lazuli. This is the throat chakra. So a lot of you will need to probably get this crystal or wear a lot of blue at that time. And this is life-changing epiphany or experiences. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. Lapis Lazuli. Where you're going to speak your truth. And last but not least, you got Tiger's Eye. And this talks about self-confidence through God confidence. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. Okay? And uh, if you, uh, there's a, right now there's a, comp uh, a uh, website that I go to to buy my jewelry. And uh, it's called earthfamilycrystals.com. Earthfamilycrystals.com. I support small businesses. And they do give, ten, they're giving right now 10% off, okay? And they do have beautiful uh, crystals as well, and as well jewelry. So if you want to check that out, okay? Now, I also took out chakra cards. And guess what? They're in blue, like the lapis lazuli, okay? This has to do with your throat chakra. For you speaking your truth, for some of you are withholding your truth or speaking something that you need to talk to someone. The first card you got is recovery. Recovery. So I feel here that for some of you, you are going to be feeling better if you haven't been feeling better. But I, what I'm picking up with this card is you're going to get the key that you need. Okay, like there's a key coming towards you, and you'll know for some star seeds what I'm talking about. Okay, you know what I'm talking about, right? And for others of you, yes, there is a kind of recovery that's coming in for you. Of I feel that the divine is coming in, stepping in. The divine is stepping in. To bring you what exactly you need to open and unlock that door. The other one is balance. Balance. Okay. I feel that some of you, this will also, uh, when you speak your truth, okay, or when the situation happens, it will, you're, you are right now balancing your life. Yes, I feel that you are. But I feel that things are going to be in balance once you get that key and once that you understand what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. I took out a card from the Sacred Power. I love these cards. And here it shows me that you are protected. There's some kind of protection around you. When I look at this card for me, what I see here is Archangel Michael for some of you. Or your angel family that's coming in to step in to protect you. Okay, there's some kind of huge protection around you. Now, I had asked for Work of Light to give me one card. Usually they give me two, but for you, you got three. So the first card I got for you is the Council of Light. So this is your uh, angel, guides, uh, family of light, spirit of light, the higher realms, okay? And it says here, the orchestration, no, orchestration. Okay, I'm not even saying it right, but you know what I mean, right? So there's a divine orchestration and helpers in the subtle realms that are coming in to help you. You are being guided. For some of you, they're saying yes. Yes. And this is just say yes. There's something that you know what I'm talking about. And the last but least, you have this card here, which is Akasha. 
This could be your Akasha records for some of you. Your guidance is divinely guided. So you are being guided, not only in this earth plane here, subtle realms, in, in the realms, okay, uh, when you are um, traveling, you are being divinely guided. And your affirmation is freedom. And if you want to follow up to me, it's, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And so it is. Now, let's get started with your reading. We're going to start, oh wait, before I even get there, I took oracle cards for you, okay? The usual ones, Ask Angels, Romance Angels, and Archangel Michael with crystals on them and all i want you to do is ask the questions maybe through my channel messages you will not get what you need to get some of you will but some of you want that extra confirmation ask your questions now and at the end of the reading we're going to take a look at them together the first deck is ask angels orange selenite deck number two romance angels rose quartz deck number three Archangel Michael, number three, Obsidian. Again, by you could choose by crystal or by deck or just let your intuitive sight go ahead and uh, guide you. We will start with this, my first deck. This is the, the Wild Unknown deck. You can find it on Amazon.com. Okay. Always look at your rising, your moon, your Venus. But this time around, I'm asking you to also look at your um, at your Saturn, at your Jupiter, at your Mars, and Neptune as well. Because a lot of the planets are retrograde. Also look at your Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N, to see where you fit in, where you fall and in, in the planetary. Like what, what is the sign? And look that up because that might help you to see what is going on with you at this particular point instant for you okay so what are the messages here for my beautiful aquarians aquarians okay and always let me know if it resonates now i'm not i don't want to go too much in the past okay i want to that's why i do the celtic cross because the celtic cross cross keeps you in the moment and what's coming in the future in the near future and i'm here to for you to uh regain your trust again and have faith, not hope, but faith in the universe, okay? And also know that beautiful things are coming for all of you. I do feel that at the core of my heart. So let's see. I'm going to cut the cards in three, and let's start your reading. What are the messages? Oops. What are the messages here for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Did I say Venus? Okay, Mercury. Jupiter, Saturn, um, Neptune, Mars. I will put the cards down first. And then we're going to go look into deeper into the reading. <laughs> so weird. Okay. Because remember uh, last night I did your reading, right? Some cards are still coming out the same. And, you know, you saw me shuffle. So in the, not not too long ago, I see right now, wow. I see right now, two, two, two in your reading. Okay? Stay positive for those of you, if it has to do with uh, uh, your love life. You're going to start seeing things very clear. You're going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot of communication. That's why they're asking you to carry the lapis lazuli or the wearing a lot of blue will help with, with this. Okay. Wow. Okay. The same cards. Almost the same cards. <laughs> Almost. Okay. You are a high priest and a high priestess. You should follow your intuition. Your intuition is right on target. You have all the you have all the keys inside of you you have all the knowledge inside of you to know what's going on that you don't need uh, outside people some of you are asking about me and it's okay you can ask about me it's normal because i'm getting it very clearly that someone's asking is she accurate well 
yes <laughs> and it's not out of ego it's really out of pure love that i am accurate with my readings okay some of you are uh not sleeping at night at this time maybe because of the energies that we're going through with the eclipses uh, especially with um you know uh with the cancer eclipse and then with the capricorn eclipse and now going into the fire energy here there's i uh, feel as some of you are not sleeping at night okay you're wide awake wide awake or you're being awakened every couple of hours here a lot of you are worrying about a situation you're worrying about money some of you are traveling maybe you're worried about your kids you're worried about your work you're worried about if you're going to be moving relocating or this person that you're dating or this person that you're seeing whatever it is that you're feeling you're feeling this way the top right what's happening now for some of you are you are involved with someone for some of you not all of you okay this could be right now because we're in the leo energy okay leo, uh, leo energy you're probably dealing with a leo sagittarius or aries here okay <clears throat> and what i'm getting here is that some of you <clears throat> i feel <clears throat> see like my throat chakra is block is like getting blocked why it's not because of me it's because i'm in your energy and i'm feeling this for, for some of you please I, and I, I just got 21 21 here okay what i'm picking up here is that for some of you this has to do for your uh, you're dealing with someone that is in fire fire energy or this is happening now in the leo season i'm also picking up here a taurus okay it could be a taurus or a libra okay that is that's here that's crossing you or this is you being in your element meaning whether you're a man or woman that you are stable okay or that you have all abundant resources and something about you having money in the past in the recent past because they are showing me that you went through a financial something financially happened to you something <clears throat> money lost for some of you you lost everything i feel here but this was in the past okay it's been like past five years 10 years there was something of the past here and in the recent also in the past there was a completion that was done okay you did get a completion now the world card talks about completion for completion and the delays okay and um something coming full circle as well uh learning all your life experiences in the way that you had to and new beginnings will start light travel is here what's cross what's on top what is the moment now is the two of cups this could be a cancer scorpio or pisces doesn't have to be but this is two people coming if it's for love there's two people coming in wanting the same thing okay this could also be a business opportunity as well and what's coming into the near future is that you're starting to make short time travel plans together okay very much passionate and very loving here what is the root of the situation some of you are being pulled in two different directions that could be you could be, be pulling in two different directions. There could be two people for some of you. Because I did when I did the reading last night, I did take that there was two people. Some some of you had to choose between two people, not all of you. But here it talks about you being grounded, you making a decision, you are multitasking. There's something that you're doing. Okay, this could be something that is passionate to your heart for some of you. And what's around you? Is the ace of swords and this came into your uh reading last night as well this is about talking speaking the truth seeing things clearly the divine is coming in to help you the divine is coming in to help you okay um like the divine is coming in to cut through everything that you could speak your truth stay in your stay in your integrity speaking the truth of course with love right cutting out people cutting out situations ideas coming in and a lot of communication taking place so that's why they're working on your i feel that they're asking you to take that uh, lapis lapzuli because you will, you will need that you are hoping and that you're manifesting and yes you are you are manifesting okay so some of you are dealing okay well whatever could this could be an aquarius but it doesn't matter oh this is you are an aquarius like you okay but i feel that this is you and your energy that you have everything you 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 came to a certain level now and some of you are manifesting very quickly you got all the elements together because remember okay you are a high priest or a high priestess okay you got all the knowledge and some of you this has to do <clears throat> with um money okay where you're going to be beginning a new uh, a new journey you're very independent you do what you have to do you're in touch with nature you're in touch with yourself and some of you this has to do with a home 
as well a home this like could be a new home that's coming for you for some of you or a completion in a home okay so now we're gonna look take uh, the other cards that i have these ones here okay i'm gonna clarify the cards and see what is going on with you my beautiful aquarians I'm using the Morgan Gray, Gur, I think. I don't even know how to say that word. I said G R E E R, Gur. <laughs> you have to excuse me because I speak five languages. So that's why sometimes I make mistakes with my words, okay? Okay, so now let's see why there is a here. Oops, too many cards. Let's see why there's uh, why you have the wand here. This is uh, the king or queen of wands. Okay, uh, very dramatic, very driven. This could be you, that you are going to be very driven this week. Very much into your passion. Or this is someone that you're dealing with. So why is the king of wands or the queen of wands here? Oh, the last card. Hmm, sorry, I forgot to tell you. Patience. So there is, you need to remain patient. This also talks about for you, because this could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. For others of you, uh, Jupiter in Sagittarius usually brings in a nice gift after, because you did your completion. There's a completion that was made here for you. And so what I feel is that this is like, for some of you, you already had your completion, where you've been patient and beautiful things came to you. And others of you, you're still going through it and you have to remain patient. But Jupiter in, Jupiter, sorry, Jupiter in Sagittarius is also bringing a gift towards you, something that's unexpected, okay? Some of you are dealing with a Leo, or this is happening in the Leo season. You're going to have confidence. You're going to have strength, okay? Um, and I feel here, uh, a lot of you have been working with your light and shadow side very well. As much as you love your light side, you have to love your shadow side. That's what the yin and yang comes in, right? Okay, because I see yin and yang here. And also self-confidence. Uh, and I also see that some of you are going to start feeling better. There's a recovery that's taking place here for you, okay? So what is this about? Why is the, <clears throat> the queen or the king of wands with the strength card about? What is this about? What is it that Aquarians need to know? many cards what do we need? okay that card wants to come out well so you're dealing with a Pisces it doesn't matter if it's not okay but I feel here in energy is that there's still something that you do not know just like the unknown right there's the unknown some of you are stagnant or just waiting for something to happen some of you are going through a passage right now as well I see here I see number 11 very strong Okay, what is the moon card? After? This has to do probably with the eclipse that happened. Okay. What is the moon card uh, and the, uh, the strength card and the king or queen of wands? What is this all about? Show me. Some of you are going to be relocating or moving or traveling. That's what's happening. Okay, you're going to be moving towards calmer waters where everything's more calm. You're going to leave a situation behind. Some of you are starting all over again. Why is the Empress here? <laughs> there we start. Where did it go? Oh, I can't find the card. Oh, here it is. Okay. What's crossing you, okay, for some of you, um, is a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces here, okay? What is the King of Cups? Whether it's a girl or a boy, it doesn't matter. This is someone that's a very good person normally, okay? They're normally good people, okay? But, you know, there's every good and bad in every uh, sign. So uh, let's see what this is all about, okay? We'll get to the bottom of it. You know, I will. <laughs> Why is the Empress here with the King? Okay. Some kind of... Uh, this is a broken heart situation. So this is reversed, which is a good thing. But it's still crossing you, okay? So there's a reverse here. 
But uh, this is, I feel like some of you, I really took the time to heal yourself from a past grief, okay? Um, and some of you are feeling um, stagnant, uh, stuck. You're overanalyzing. You're overthinking about a situation. Uh, you're When you're overanalyzing too much, what, you, what happens is that you get stuck in the stagnation. There's some of you are probably just waiting to move away from a particular situation here. Uh, something that was, an, um, you, someone that someone okay now what let's forget about the signs because we have all the signs here but in energy wise i someone that had broken your heart um i feel that someone that was not stable here okay um and you feeling stuck and not seeing something because you can you you're not clear yet but something must have came out okay because there is something here that will be coming out for you to see and you're going to be moving forward. So why is the Eight of Swords energy here? Yep. Now this could be you, okay, an Aquarius or uh, another Aquarius, uh, Libra or Gemini. Some I feel that uh, this is a, a situation that did not turn out in the way that you wanted to, Aquarius. And so um, someone cut someone out. Or they cut you out or you cut someone out completely okay and i'm gonna put the eight of um swords reverse that you don't feel stuck and you see the truth in the situation that's why that is why the divine is bringing you the truth for you to see you're gonna see it very clear masks are gonna be falling off you're gonna see that okay and um yeah you're gonna be cutting off somebody and um I also feel here there's going to be a, a lot of communication. Okay. Wait a second. Look, this is what they're showing me, okay? I asked, like, the end result of this. And there's a lot of cards that came out. But you'll understand. There's a home that got broken here. Something that was not complete. Or maybe that was completed back then. But something shattered here, okay? Um, unhappy home. Unhappy situation going on here. Um... So you were dealing with a Sagittarius. If that's not the case, there was someone that was, um, maybe you were patient, but the other person wasn't patient around you. Okay, someone, uh, I also see here uh, loss. There's a huge loss here. Huge loss. A property, money, the whole, the, the, the everything, okay? And I see that you've been working hard in details, but some of you are feel like giving up, and they're asking you to remain patient, okay? To remain patient, because why? Because, again, you got the Ace of Swords. The Divine is coming in to bring you clarity. And some of you are probably have received this clarity already. Okay? The truth. Cutting through everything. Cutting through the fog. Through the people that are fake or people that were not for your highest good. Communication. Great ideas coming. Why? Because you're going to rise above it. That's why. Judgment is here to take care of you. Okay? And there's going to be a lot of communication, a lot of communication, short distance travel as well for some of you. And uh, justice will be on your side. Okay. Again, look at the sword, the balance here, right? Remember the cards I showed you before, right? So things are going to start being imbalanced. Things are going to be uh, rulings. Any kind of ruling will be made in your favor for those of you that are going to court with someone custody of a child. This has to do with for some of you. And I feel here that. You don't need to worry. Stop worrying. I know this is why you're worried for some of you. And you're not and they're asking you to trust your intuition because you have all the elements. But when you worry about something so much, you could you're creating more of it. So they're asking you to let go. Okay. I see here a fire sign around you, okay? And I feel this could be again Sagittarius Leo or Aries. But I feel that this is in the month of the Leo season that things are gonna start being better for you. Now, let's see why the Five of Pentacles is reversed. Please let me know in the comments. You might have to watch this video a couple of times before you get all my messages. And then when you come, you know what you, also, you should do? Is that at the end of the month, at the end of the week, Okay, you should go back and watch it again. Then you're going to get other messages. So new beginnings are going to be taking place for you. Maybe already new beginnings have started making where you're going to feel light, carefree. 
and you want to start all over again. What is this fool about? What is this fool about? Some of you uh, are not bonded to somebody. This is some of you were maybe you were dealing with a Capricorn. But what I'm picking up is this, uh, whatever the situation was of the past, whatever this is a person, a work situation with a boss, a friend, a family member, this person, whoever this person was, forget about the Capricorn, but whoever this person was, was not for your highest good at all. At all. No good. Okay? But karmically, it's being taken away from you for a reason because they want you to have a good life. They want you to be happy. Okay? Oh, wait a second. I didn't even ask. Why is the world card here? You're moving forward, adventurous, happier, happier times in sense of wonder. When the world card happened, it brought you the Ace of Wands, two aces on the ground. Beautiful. I love that. So the Ace of Wands talks about you, um, you know, when you wake up, like, you know, when you're a child and you wake up like in the morning and it's like, oh my God, it's a sense of wonder. Uh, it's like a sense of wonder, uh, passion. Some of you are going to go through in a Kudalini awakening. Everything that you, like, you're going to be like in a sense of wonder, inspiration, um, like you're going to reinvent yourself, reinvent your world again, okay? So you could be dealing also with a fire sign as well, okay? Yeah, because something is coming to you faded. It. It's your right and it's your destiny to have this, okay? Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here? <clears throat> some of you are dealing with an Aries where I feel someone some of you were dealing with a lot of outside forces at this time because of all the planets that are retrograde you've probably been involved in a lot of drama if that's not that you were involved in a lot of drama I feel here that um, for some of you this has to do with a business okay let me see what this is all about why is the two cups here with the emperor and the Five of Wands. What does this have to do with? What does this have to do with? Please show me. Absolutely. What is the Two of Cups and the Emperor? Okay. Again, you see, you got the Empress twice did you get it twice let me see where was the first time yeah you got it crossing you something did not come into fruition something did not take place in the way that you wanted to okay maybe uh someone that was not also grounded okay resources didn't come in there was a lot of fighting a lot of drama maybe you were dealing with a boss that was for some of you a boss that was not for your highest good okay um but what i see here is the two of cups so there is something there is some kind of union that's coming together this could be a friendship for some of you. This could be love for others of you. This could be um, with um, a business or some kind of like your own business, okay? And they're asking you to remain patient. Now, what is the Two of Cups about? Okay. <laughs> the Sun card. Hallelujah. Okay, this is all I could say. Amen. All right, this is a beautiful card. The Leo season will be very fruitful for you, okay? Uh, when the sun shines, everything is great. Um, it's your God-given right to be happy, and you will be happy again. Everything grows beautifully under the sun. You got the two of cups, okay, and the sun card. Some of you are dealing probably with a fire sign, or it, like I said, from July 21st to August 21st, something is looking great here. Some of you, what is this? The over? What's the overall energy about this? What does the emperor have to do with? I'm dealing with someone that is very strong. Okay, well, okay, you got some cards here. There is some kind of commitment that's coming through for you, okay? There is a commitment here. This could be love, of course. 
I'm not going to discount that because it is sometimes this can mean, or you're dealing with someone that's very strict, okay? Also, where you, there's been a fight and something didn't come through, but something, for those of you that this is a marriage or a, a union that you're already together and you've been going through hard times here, I see that there could be a renewal for some of you, not all of you. For others of you, there is a commitment here for you, marriage commitment. You have, your, uh, you have so many dreams. Some of you have so many options as well. Okay, but there's a lot of dreams here, and I feel some of you are dealing with a cancer. If not, this is you moving, for you um, taking control of the situation and moving forward with conviction. You're going to be moving forward, okay? Even though you know there's steps, there's uh, obstacles along the way, uh, you know you're ready to take on any challenge, okay? And some of you are also buying a new vehicle, and there's going to be a lot of happiness around you. There's a lot of happiness here, okay? Let's see what the two of, uh, oh wait, the two of uh, wands here. Two people coming together, inspiring, creating something. Like I said, this could be a business for some of you. Others of you, this you'll know what the message means for you. Why is the page of pentacles reversed here? There's an offer that you're waiting to come in. Or an apology for something, or a promotion. But it's not in divine timing at this moment. See, why is the two of wands here with the page of pentacles reversed? <laughs> okay. There's an energy around you. This is depleting you. It's de it's evading you. Not depleting you. Evading you. Meaning it's leaving your energy karmically. It's people uh, taking advantage of you. Okay, Aquarius. Okay, uh, and I do, and again, there's probably maybe an Aquarius out there, maybe just one, I could say, not much, that did this to somebody else as well. But I feel that this is being done to you for some of you, okay? And you are, okay, this is also my Aquarius. This is, I use the star and the magician as my Aquarius because that's the way that they tell me. Now, others could do whatever they want, but uh, you are getting a healing and a blessing from your star seed family, from your family of light, your highest counsel. There's a blessing coming in of two people coming in together, two people coming in together, a union, creating something more beautiful. Again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this could be about love or work, okay? And yes, you are manifesting you have all, you already have two magician cards on the ground, two two of cups on the ground, okay? You are manifesting very quickly and you're staying, and you're remaining positive, which is a great thing. Now, let's see why the two of pentacles is here for you. Why is the two of pentacles here? Some of you are being pulled in two different directions. You're very tired, you're very exhausted. Some of you, there's a relationship or some, some kind of situation that did not work out for you. Uh, your cup is empty or someone else's cup was empty, okay? There's a lot of emptiness. Maybe you have a lot of Cancer in your chart as well or Scorpio or Pisces. I think Cancer is where we're going through this. You need to fill up your own cup before you could love someone else or take care of someone else for some of you out there, okay? Um... Why is the Ace of Cups reversed? You have three Aces, Ace. Okay, that's one, one, one. Why is that? Okay. Yeah, you see, again, the Five of Cups. Uh, you're, some of you are really depleted about your past. You're, because we're in retrograde season, about almost all the planets are in retrograde, at least six of them. It's normal that we are reevaluating, reevaluating, relooking at everything. And the problem is here is that some of you are focused only on the bad things and you're not looking at the cups here behind you so you need to change your energy because right now there's a lot you're manifesting very quickly uh you've been praying and some things are going to come to fruition but this has to go from you okay so you're in a slight depression and there's someone that you're waiting for to come through like as if like maybe it could be another like aquarius libra or gemini that you want someone to come through to give you a message but it's not in divine timing here okay I'm going to have to take the card because I didn't ask for it. Why is the Five of Cups here with the Knight? The, the Knight of Swords here. Reverse. What is this all about? I just saw 4444. This talks about stability, the angels guiding, loving you, and supporting you every step of the way. Yeah. There's some... 
there's some of you are feeling unstable at this time. You're feeling unstable, maybe with finances, with or someone that's coming in that's not coming in right now because it's not in divine timing. It's it's just not is okay. Um, now let's see why the Ace of Swords is here. Why is the Ace of Swords here? I believe some of you this has to do with a twin flame because I see the infinity symbol. Okay, some of you are scared not to have enough money. Some of you are scared to open that heart again or you don't have trust. Okay, even though you are stable in some ways, you still have this uh, feeling of uh, being in unstable. What does the Four of Pentacles have to do and uh, the Ace of Swords have to do with the situation? What is this about? This ending took took place a while ago okay it's not if it was like this then i would say it's an ending of a situation uh it's this happened a while ago and i, I do see that you healed from it okay and uh something about your past okay again i don't want to go back in the past something that ended really abruptly in the past here as well maybe some of you are grieving someone that passed away as well that could also be it some of you are dealing with a scorpio okay and there's a huge transformation that's taking place for you here at the same time okay so what is uh, why is the magician here <clears throat> why is the magician here in the hopes and fears You're hoping, you're hoping for something. You've been dreaming for something, but there's a decision that you will have to make. There's a decision that you will have to make. Take out those blindfolds. Open that heart of yours. There's, you need to speak. There's an energy around you of someone not being honest, someone trying to get away with something. Now, again, very clear here. This could be someone around you or one of you, one percent of you that's doing this. Okay. And you'll know why. It might not be bad, but there's something that you're not saying for some of you, okay? For a couple of you, not much. For others of you, you're fearing to trust again. You're fearing of everything because uh, you've been through a lot. I could see that. And uh, you're fearing that people are, are always trying to do something behind you, okay? Uh, okay, let's see what this is. Yes, I asked why without even asking, but in my uh, mind, why the temperance card was here. Trust your intuition. Some of you are high priest or high priestess. You have all the knowledge that you need, okay? There's a completion that will be taking place for those of you. Just two completions on the ground. One in the past and a new one now. And I just saw 47, 47. This is like travel, learning a life experience that took a long time, okay? Coming full circle and the delays, stability. Okay, there's a be stability foundation here. Okay, there's stability and foundation here. If you are dealing with another person, you might be dealing with a pentacle, like a earth energy. Uh, like I have all the energies here, okay? Teaching others. This could be a, a strong foundation in work or love. You'll know what the message means to you. Why is the nine of swords here? Let go of the outcome of the situation. Give it to the universe. Your stars, your angels, your star seed family. They're they're trying to guide you. Why is the nine of okay? This card went. <laughs> Some of you, this has to do with a lover, a twin flame for others of you. If this is not about love, this is a situation or uh, something that's coming towards you that it's a decision that you will have to make about. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini here. And <clears throat> it doesn't have to be. Okay. But whoever it is for you, it's a very strong here. And what's the overall energy in all? What's the overall energy? What is the whole overall energy for this reading? And hope to God that this reading comes out tonight. You're gonna take a break. Resting. Some of you are gonna be. Uh, some of you are being worked on from your crown, third eye, throat chakra, heart chakra is being healed because of this completion. You will need the time to rest. Some of you are going to travel. You need to rest. Okay. Anything else that they should know? I'm just gonna ask one more question to see if there's anything else that you should know. Some of you are going to, uh, some of you, not all of you, some of you 
are going to remain single. Not all of you again, but some of you are. Okay, you're going to be resting, taking care of yourself. In touch, you're in touch with nature, in touch with yourself, very spiritually awakening with this because there, there is a spiritual growth that's happening towards you. Very independent with your finances and taking it easy. Okay, so that is your reading. Now, we're going to take out the angel cards or, or oracle cards. And um, for those of you that chose Ask Angels, Orange Selenite, there's abundance coming for you. For those of you that asked the question, the answer is yes. And you got yes twice. And forgiveness. And so it is. Good luck for those of you that chose deck number one. Chose you that deck, for those of you that ch chose deck number two, rose, uh, romance, <laughs> romance angels, rose quartz, <laughs> chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And so it is. Last but not least, Archangel Michael three Obsidian. Be gentle with yourself. And it says, Archangel Michael, please guide me in tr treating myself with gentle, nurturing love in everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt for to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. And so it is. Sense of humor. And it says, thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. And so it is. New beginnings and a fresh start. And it says, thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. Because, yeah, I do believe that's what's happening for you. And so it is, and good luck. Okay, Aquarius, let's hope that this reading goes up. I'm sure it will this time around. Um, know that I have your back and I love you. And I'll see you again next, uh, what is it, next Tuesday, okay, next Tuesday. So I just saw 5222. Two, two. So take care of yourself. Bye.